So I want to force myself to grow as a musician. So it's so easy for me just to go back into the, this isn't the bass for it, but like the. That's, that's done on this, this beauty right here. Um, hashtag 1986 Padula MVP. Um, 86? 86. No. 1986. No, it's not. Yeah, huh? Really? Yeah. No. It says so. The number on the back, you, you go on the, uh, it's technically a buzz that was fretted later by a, another, a previous owner. I think it was fretted sometime in the 90s, but wow. they don't make those anymore. The guy, Michael Padula, retired. Huh. And so they're, uh, they're an endangered species. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's like thousands of them, but as far as them being produced anymore, I think that instantly makes them endangered, right? I would say so. I think so. Yeah. And it sounds cooler. Um, so yeah, that's, cool. that's, that's, the, that's the only bass that's on the whole album. Um, and so it's this very funky stuff. And so, sorry, <laughs> back to the point. Uh, I'm struggling with this, like, oh, I don't want to do the same thing again. I don't want people to judge me for what, what I, I'm going to put out if it's the exact same as what I did before, right? Sure, sure. Now it's cool and and you know it's I find it to be a unique form of playing. I definitely have my direct influences, you know, of bass players, but I I wanna I wanna expand. And so I'm struggling with this like where I've said I want to expand and not do that sound. I'm struggling with, oh well is this a good enough different sound? Is this a different enough, you know, is yeah. this gonna be okay? And so that's a that's a demon I'm currently struggling with. So, but you have to you have to come in, you have to come in and understand that like art is art, and some people's art numbers aren't gonna vibe with your art number. Sure. You know. Well, and it's all just in comparison with other people. You can, uh, so yeah. like when I'm I'm working on that um, solo album right. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I probably have. 20 to 30 songs like i've been writing Great. songs for a year or just ideas for songs. right for sure songs. for sure and if i choose not to continue with the song it's because i love fkj have you okay. ever heard of fkj maybe great french producer okay live loops everything okay i probably complete or add to a song because like in my mind it doesn't sound enough like him <laughs> like, well yeah it's not him, so it's not good enough. Like, right. I won't feel cool in the car listening to this. Yeah. So I'm like, well, shoot, I just won't do it. I guess that's probably probably bad. I think it is good to kind of hone down and be like, maybe I don't long term want to sound like this. Right. Um, I think there is something to be said for that. But if you're not going to continue something for the sake of um, just like not sounding like someone. Mm -hmm. You're never going to sound like someone. Right. You're going to sound like yourself. Right. No matter how hard you try. Unless you're, you were talking about that uh, food before. You could be like Jim Carrey. Oh, and yeah. Can like, you could, yeah, you could. Exact same bass, exact yeah. same strings, eat the same thing for breakfast. <laughs> That's what you I did with this one. Flea if you want. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Shave your head. Yeah. And even then, you're probably not going to fully sound like right. Flea, no matter how hard you try. Right. So why even compare yourself to other people? It's That's probably true. good just to have a reference point to see what works. Right. And if you do want to make a living on music, maybe a little bit of your attention has to be put towards, is this going to work well with people? Because I do think there's like a too weird. Yeah. Really, really, really out there and not even like worth considering that. Right. Much. Like if I'm, if I'm playing, you know, with, you know, marbles on a trash can. And, and like, it's like, why is this not catching on? I don't get it. Like, exactly. like, <laughs> like there, you know, there's a, there's a bounds to like, what's marketable to the, the grand, the grander population. Right. Cause we're all entertainers and artists and businessmen at the same time and women business peoples at, you know, at the same time. So yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's exactly it. It's like, what's too weird and then it's also is it good to sound just like somebody else because how many times have you heard an artist and be like oh he sounds just like this guy it's like right, right right yeah killer killer following great amazing band amazing, amazing musician. but it's zeppelin yeah 
It's exactly. It's exa and that's why we have a lot of people who are like our dad's age and like a little bit older than that who are who are super in into them because they sound like what they listened to when they were our age. Right. But but yeah. there's so, there are people in the world who are like ah it's already been done. It's our, uh, the the 70s or 80s are old over. Like yeah. we're we're done. You but know. Is that what do you think about Greta Van Fleet? Like do you think it's like some people think they're copying Led Zeppelin and they shouldn't have the fame and probably money that they do because they just took a sound and they copied it. I, but that's but you could say that about anything. Right. You know. You're always taking something. Do you know and yeah. you know uh I I mean I don't know how much I want to straight up call out something but um um there are so many different songs out there that sound like other songs. Yeah. Right, let's get it on and then uh thinking out loud, right? There's there, a website for it. You can put in the song and you'll find it like exact match. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh when it rains, it pours by Luke Combs, which is a song that I like. I actually wake up to it. My Alexa wakes me up to it. She goes, "Good morning, sunshine," <laughs> and then she tells me the weather, and then she goes, uh, and then she plays the song, right? And then I'm always tired. I'm like, Alexa, shut up, right? <laughs> um, and then, uh, so so that that sounds just like uh, I don't even know who it is. Um, uh, it's another. It was on. It used to be on country radio. I think it's called like "Can't Go Home" or something. Mm. It, it sounds just the same, but it was back in like 2012 or something. But it sounds just the same. It's like the exact same rhythm. It's like the exact same melody and the verses and like groove and chords and whatever. Right. Right. The melody is a little different. But when I first heard it, I was like, "This sounds just like the other one. They're just copying." So there's this balance of like trying to recreate what you know is successful because we're all business people. But and I and I'm not the authority to be speaking on this. This is just what I've noticed. No, but like, but like Greta Van Fleet is awesome. Let the, let you know people hate on them. It's like oh, it's already been done. Who cares? They're awesome musicians. They like that kind of music. They're a you know an unusual group of people in our generation. Yeah. Who play and enjoy that kind of music? You know, that's not that's look. That's not Led Zeppelin is not my go-to when I'm trying to just like listen to music, right? Right. They're not my go-to, but they love it, and so they're just trying to emulate it. And then it just so happens that they're trying to copy one of the best rock bands ever, yeah. right? And so I think that's why. So I, I, frankly, I don't care that they're that there are people who hate them. Like that's always going to exist. Let them be great, and they're awesome. Yeah. I, I'm a huge fan of Doug Johns. Doug Johns is the bass player who uses Padula. Yeah. I'm using the exact same strings that he used for decades. Why would you do that? You exactly. Why would I do that? Him. I'm just copying him, right? <laughs> but I, for some reason, his style of music just spoke to me, and I just thought it was the coolest thing. I remember I was like 15 when I first is saw the, a yeah. video, and I was just like, John "This is Bonham. right." Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like this is so cool. I don't know how he's doing this on the bass, but that's the kind of stuff I want to do. And then here we are, and I did busking, and I came out with a solo album, which the first half sounds a lot like his stuff. Yeah. Because I just loved it. And then I had my own stuff at the end, and I guess that's the John McGrath sound or whatever. Yeah. But so, so who ca I don't even know where this came from, but, but it's this, oh, yeah, it's like this. Yeah, I don't know. You have to be marketable. You do. Well, and it's like to to an extent as an artist. Who's the guy? Yeah. That you His name's Doug Johns. Doug Johns. Yeah. Like so many people starting up now love like Travis Barker. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, it was John Bonham. Right. I learned every single note he's ever played. Uh huh. I learned all the albums, and on John Bonham's birthday, which is on, I stopped doing it, but I think it's on May thirty uh, first. Okay. Is his birthday? Uh huh. I would cut everything I had to do that day, and I would play through every single Zeppelin song. See what like, a what like a freakish thing to do, but it's so cool because you're just passionate about who you're passionate right? about. He's the reason I drum, though. Right. If it wasn't for me trying to imitate John Bonham, mm. this would not be here. That's right. the whole point. And it doesn't matter like what you what I or anybody does with it. Yeah. You can choose to be famous on YouTube. You can choose to be famous on Instagram. You can choose to go on Broadway and get big there. Yeah. It can be anywhere. It doesn't matter what you do with it. It just matters that you do something that like you enjoy doing. That's why anyone's doing music. 
And so when people hate on people who sound like other people, it's like, of course, well, first of all, there's only so many combinations of sounds and notes that you can do right. to make it like pleasable to the ear, I guess. But like, I don't, I don't get haters, man. I, don't, I get, is that where this conversation goes? I don't get haters. Hate the haters, everybody. Yeah. Like, well, like it, it, you sound like this person. Yeah. Cause they're a big influence on me and I like their sound and I like to emulate that. Well, they already did that. Like, so yeah, it doesn't it, matter. It brings me, this is my art it brings me joy. And there's, to me, it seems like there's kind of a hate towards, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm trying to be a YouTuber or anything of that sort, mm-hmm. but it seems like there's kind of a distance between people that only play virtually, mm-hmm. which there are those people, they yeah. only play for Instagram. For sure. Because they're getting paid to do it yep. and they're making a living and maybe they don't want to travel and mm-hmm. that's a way to do it. Yeah. They're playing music, they're making money, they're making a living. Right. Then you have the other people who are playing live. Great. Mm-hmm. They're playing music. They're make, making money. They're making a living. They're networking. Great. Exactly. There's those are the same thing. Yeah. It's just in different contexts, and there's no. We're all doing the same shit. Right. Yeah. Like, there's no reason the. I don't think the hatred's like too much between those, but if I were to kind yeah. of point out if there is a division. Yeah. It people almost would be like, like that's it. There's something weird with social media. Yeah, I There's think it. Weird. If I had to guess, it's probably just because it's new. It's new. It's just so and, new, and, and I, it is bad. Social yeah. media as a whole. Well, it's it's called um, social networking. It's used right. It, it's intended use was for social networking, but we use it for entertainment. We're not using the tool as a tool. We're using it as entertainment. And I think that's gotten out of hand. Wouldn't you argue, though, that networking in itself is a form of entertainment? Do you ever just, like, meet someone, yeah. you're out at a, at a gig or whatever, you're out at a bar playing, and, and you meet a person, and you're like, yeah, that was a good conversation. I'm glad I talked to that guy or whatever. Well, it's all just fun. Yeah. It's a, with and so I feel like it's a form of entertainment. I feel like the whole social media thing is, is yes, there, there are definitely negatives to it. But I think it's like, it's like, um driving right yeah Yeah. like it's it's a tool like having having a car okay let's do having a car right maybe that's better uh i'm driving it gets me places i can pick up friends and we go get milkshakes great i have to put oil in the car crap um i have to uh my car crashes i i get hurt yeah it's like oh that wouldn't have happened if we just didn't invent cars well yeah but like (laughs) But like, look at all the good that that transportation has done for society and right. mankind as a whole. So it's this kind of like this, this duality where people are like, oh, you know, you, expect, you got old people who are like, social media is it's, it's poisoning the minds of whatever. People don't talk to each other anymore. It's like people didn't talk to each other anyways. They were too busy reading the newspapers on the subway. How did they ever meet each other? Like- exactly. Do you know how many people I know who I've never met in real life? It's, but they're That's still true. good friends, and, I, yeah. and, and my life has been improved by knowing them, and, and I've learned from them, and I get to see parts of the world that I normally wouldn't get to experience because yeah. I've never traveled there. Yeah. Like, I, and, and you get these people who just look at it. It's like, oh, well, kids are on their phone. Well, yeah, because sometimes real life kind of stinks, right? Sure. I'd much rather be watching my friend vacation in Alaska and seeing their story on Instagram than I would, uh, I don't know, waiting in line to, to get my food, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I could just go up and talk to somebody, but, like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of introverted anyways. But, like, I, I am, I, you know, if someone's talking to you, like, stay off your phone. Don't be, don't be rude. Right. Right. <laughs> but, like, but what are we even talking about? But, <laughs> like, <laughs> this, this but like, is one big metaphor for groove. This is one big metaphor, guys. Get your micro and macro rhythms together, <laughs> together. But yeah, and so I just, I just, there's just, oh man. And the people who say, ah, oh, just, just so much negativity on social media. It's like, yeah, of course, there's negativity everywhere. There's ne- negativity in books. Go read a book. There's negativity there. Well, yeah, it's the shit you're following. Right. Be smart about what's on your feed. Yes. I, I said this in the last one. Like, if you take the time, I took like two hours out of my day. Yeah. Just sitting on the couch, like twisting my spine, <laughs> going through all my followers. <laughs> and like, I unfollowed the things that just like, I didn't know, or 
I just didn't really care about. Right. Yeah. And I made sure everything that I followed, I could either learn from or just like, yeah, get a little boost. Or it's fun. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's a little endorphin boost. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, that's a funny meme. Okay. Great. Brain break. Let's go eat this chicken sandwich or whatever. Or learn from it. Like, yeah. 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 So I follow a bunch of like production little exactly like uber facts they told me that moths don't fly in earthquakes what but how... that's a whole nother man that is a tangent stream. that we could <laughs> we I, okay so for those who don't know i'm i'm originally